Compass and Clock, poems by David Sanders. This is a poem from my book, Compass and Clock. It's called A Wash. This is a local scene with hills, houses, one will see if one looks how it's composed. The grasses fill the otherwise blank space. The strokes of bare trees cling to the landscape in a winter without snow. Numb blue mountains, small and distant, rip roughly across the horizon, and the sky also is a blue. Birds, like a stream of ashes, fly toward the granary below. And there, in the midst of this, lies a town, a town with a railroad, a depot, a humming engine, and a man standing in the cold air, which whips him like wet linen, removed from it all on a bridge. Note the view. This is what he sees, and less. The slackened foliage, dripped over stones and degrees, without severe perfume, the lack of voices here, the long applause of trains. He's learned about these tracks, and what's missing is less than loss, though also his. This is what we can guess. He'll retie his shoe before we leave, or maybe not. But we know he won't move on. We do. This is called Pianos. I saw them as a child in the houses of people my parents knew, each one sulking in a darkened room beneath the arrangements of family portraits. There I'd lift the lip that powdered over chipped and yellowed teeth and slightly press the lowest key, enough so that the bass note hummed through me. I never heard the hours of tortured practice or those mornings when Dusting hands stopped to tour again, the foreign shore of a half-remembered strain. So much that wasn't played, the silence resonating like the dusk that ushers out the fall. And yet the portraits in their frames have multiplied. Furniture now of friends, undisturbed and undisturbing, the strings ease further out of tune against the padded hammers waiting to be sprung. 